congratulations to Arthur and Carly, and uh, many happy years. And, uh, I love you, hon. Oh. 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 Well All right, next we have the groom's father, Andrew. <laughs> You are running away from me. <laughs> okay, I will, I will, I will give you two stories, so it will be a bit longer. So uh, if you, if you start falling asleep, uh, let me know. Okay. Um, after I think it was about ten years old. We are in Thunder Bay with my parents. Uh, it was either Easter or uh, Christmas, and there were a few guests. And uh, something I have to tell you about my parents: they were simple working people, but. Uh, they were very strict on forms and, and so on. And, uh, they, they always wanted to, to look and be perfect. So we are sitting at the table. We have a conversation. And at one point, I think the, the conversation was uh, turned to Arthur. And the question was like, uh, so uh, what, what are you after? And, so on. and this will be, by the way, it will be half Polish, half English job, but I will try to, to translate that. So Arthur, Arthur looks at me and says, yeah, well, let me, let me uh, explain first to you, and then I will have the translation. Uh, have you ever uh, met someone confused by uh, the, the words which sound very similar in, uh, in the language? So, for example, I would like more wood in the fireplace. Okay, so, Arthur answers, and there is a dead silence around the table. What he said was translates almost directly into the F word with <laughs> So uh, I see my father, he is getting red faced and he I think in a moment will throw the towel into me. So I go into damage control. Arthur, who told you that? And he points at me. You did. <laughs> Arthur, when did I tell you that? Yesterday. <laughs> Arthur, do you know what that means? Oh, you know, uh, this is that firstborn son in the family. It's Pierre Vorodny. Very similar in sound. Okay? How he mixed up those two words, I don't know. He will probably uh, have to do the, come up with the plausible explanation. Yeah, right. I never used this word. Okay? Don't, don't point at me. Another story. And Andrew can probably relate this to um, one of their common past. They were playing hockey. And uh, not, not in the same team. Arthur was put, that was his first year, Arthur was put uh, to play in the uh, center forward. I guess his coach figured out that that's, that's the position in which he, may, he will make more least damage to, to his own team. Oh. Right? Uh, <laughs> uh, so. So center forward, he is expected to score, and there is one game coming, no score, and another game, no score, and another game, and no score. And he had this coach, Mike, I guess it was his name. And the guy was uh, used to like, uh, used to have lots of uh, this, this coach-like language, this locker room, room language. And at one point, I remember this conversation. Coach asks, like, Arthur, what the hell prevents you from scoring from the obvious positions, from the obvious situations? And Arthur comes up with probably what the what what kind of well the kind of best explanation I ever, I've ever heard. Coach, my stick is not balanced. <laughs> Carly, today you are getting a very balanced guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, what can I say? Well, uh, good luck. I I'm really happy today. My eyes went wet a couple times more than more than once, and that doesn't happen very often. Uh, so, good luck, have a long and prosperous life, and Carly is now your problem. <laughs> Thanks. Up next, we're going to have Kinga. Oh. <laughs>
Okay, so in true military fashion, I came with a speech written down because I come prepared. <laughs> Simple. Dearest brother, honestly, who would have thought that this day would come? You're the guy who bought himself a big screen TV for his 8x8 little room, bought himself a TV tray so that he would spend every moment in front of that TV. And look at you now. And I lost myself. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know, we make mistakes sometimes. Um, let's see. Well, I'm happy that through moving out of your little 8x8 cell to move in with Andrew, through frustration, anger, and everything, you were patient enough to wait for Carly to come along. So, congratulations to you, brother. Now, Carly. Or Seaster. <laughs> That's gonna get old eventually. But not 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 now. <laughs> Welcome to the family. Welcome to the craziness. I, I'm sure some of you have already witnessed. I am beyond truthfully so pleased that we get to expand our very, very small family and we almost actually doubled it today. I'm absolutely beyond lucky to have the pleasure of having you and Vaughn join our family and just have a lifetime of memories to come together. So, congratulations. Good work, Arthur.